So guys, do you know what is a pilot card? And uh, have you ever noted the contents of a pilot card? A pilot card is normally given uh, by the vessel or the officers of the bridge uh, to a pilot when uh, a pilot boards the vessel to maneuver the vessel into the uh, berth. So the pilot card contains details of the vessel and today's video I'll talk about what details are included in the pilot card. Uh, the details of the vessel provide the pilot with all the information necessary for him or her to maneuver the vessel to the berth. Now, of course, uh, most of these details are uh, known to the pilot beforehand, but this is a good reminder for the pilot and to just keep checking, especially if it's a long pilotage and the, vest and the pilot uh, may keep on uh, referring to the vessel's particulars and that may help him or her to maneuver the vessel more effectively and efficiently. So the contents of a pilot card uh, they uh, contain the ship's particulars. When I say ship's particulars, I mean the ship's name, the call sign of the vessel, and the displacement, and which is the current displacement and current date weight of the vessel, the year built, the length overall, the breadth of the vessel, the length of the bulbous bow of the vessel, the forward, aft, and midships draft also includes the air draft, the length of the cable of port and starboard anchors and the length of the ship forward and aft of the bridge wing. Then uh, the engine details are also included, which include the type of the engine, maximum power available on the engine, the RPM and pitch of the engine in loaded condition, as well as the RPM for the full ahead, half ahead, half a stern, slow a stern, speeds at ballast. Then the critical RPM is also provided, that is the minimum RPM required for the vessel to be maneuvered and uh, then we have the maximum number of consecutive starts possible on the ship's main engine time taken to go from full ahead to full astern and time limit for the astern movement uh, in terms of steering and the details of the rudders are provided so of course uh, most of the times the ship may have one or two rudders depending on the ship so the number of the rudders or the type of rudders the maximum angle up to which the rudder can be used and the time taken from hard over from one side to the hard over to the other uh, normally it should not be more than 28 seconds propellers uh, the number of propellers sometimes some ships may have twin screws or twin propellers so the number of propellers the direction of the turn of the propellers whether they are left hand turning or right hand turning or if one turns left hand the other turns right hand if or if they are controllable pitch propellers where the only the pitch of the propeller is changed uh, the thrusters so if you have bow thrusters and stern thrusters or you have just the bow or just the stern thruster then the number of thrusters the power of the stern thruster bow thruster as well as the uh, that's right power of the power thruster. then the details of the equipments which are available and ready for use such as anchors whistles flags uh, the arpas and radars and the speed log details which are which basically include the speed through water and speed over ground the echo sounder so basically this is a list of the equipment bridge equipment available on the ship and then the electronic position fixing equipment which is like a gps or uh, it could be also uh, electronic plotters then you have the compass system whether you have gyro magnetic both the compasses the details of the steering gear where you will include the number of power units in each of the steering gear then the rudder rpm and rate of turn indicators available on the bridge the location of there and the vhf the mooring winches and lines the equipment operational defects so if the, any of the equipment is not working and also you must make a note of it on the pilot card itself uh, if, is any other important details for example if the vessel is completely in ballast uh, or it is fully loaded or uh, if the vessel's critical equipments are not working or um, uh, there could be uh, if the helmsman is uh, a new helmsman uh, maybe under trainee so that should be also mentioned in the pilot card then finally the master's details or the master's name should be included and the date of of course the pilot card is given to the pilot should also be included all right so i think uh, that's pretty much it